the Vols are back on top. Song of the South, sweet potato pie and shut my mouth. Gone, gone with the wind. There ain't nobody looking back again. Last year, Johnny Majors in Tennessee suffered through the worst start in school history, but the Volunteers didn't quit, and now nine straight opponents have been slammed to the turf. With the reemergence of Reggie Cobb, Tennessee is in the running for the SEC crown. Titles and crowns were a big part of the Vince Dooley era at Georgia, but now the top dog is Ray Goff, who in 1976 quarterbacked the Bulldogs all the way to the Sugar Bowl. If Georgia is to return in 1989, Rodney Hampton will lead the way. But when you talk titles, you talk defense. And to be successful, the dogs will have to hunker down. I think we have a payback for a lot of teams because of last season. And this game, my teammates and I realized that it is payback and that they did run through us. And plus, as the week earlier in the week, they had a couple players who were running their mouths off saying that we played over our heads and this and that. And I think that's one thing that's going to get us fired up to go out there and play Saturday. Reggie Cobb breaks it on the first play, and he has 11 yards. They go with the reverse. That is Moore. At the 50. Needs a block, and it's going to be tackled inside the 30. Terrence Cleveland goes wide to the left side. Tennessee has two tight ends in the game with Webb at tailback. Hinton pitches to Webb at the corner. Five, four, three, two, one. What did he do? He scored! Touchdown, Big Orange! They're in an eye with one wide out. Toss sweep. Webb, a hole at the tackle. Touchdown, Webb. A hole at their left tackle. It was a huge hole, eight or nine feet across. Interesting thing about Webb is Cobb gets so much billing. Webb, they say, is about a step quicker. They did not throw a pass, Ron, on that series. But Georgia might here on first down. Tally gives it to Hampton. He will be whacked down after a gain of one, and it's Tracy Hampton. Hampton in motion. They look to him for the quick screen. Gets behind a block, out to the 30, loses the football, still scrambling. Who's got it? Tennessee football. And protection breaking down, and it's Goldberg. They call Bill Goldberg probably the best defensive lineman in the Southeastern Conference, and he demonstrates right there why he gets such accolades. That is a loss of nine. Billy Goldberg out of Tulsa Edison High School. Chaplin breaks it out and needs one man to beat. Out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Ben Smith finally pushed him out from behind. Eric still just blows him out, and here goes the web while the Cobb rests. Now it's a foot race. Plenty of distance, and he's good. So Greg Burke puts the Volunteers on top, 10 to nothing. Off a couple of tackles and he's loose inside the 45 and he's down to the 40. Daryl Hardy saved what could have been a touchdown there. It's good for 23. Pressure is on. Pass is complete to Hummings inside the 20 and down to the 17. Hester with a good hold and he is good. by Stanford. Andre Ware maybe for the Heisman at this point. Jones back in the pocket. They set screen to the near sideline and oh my goodness, the defense by Marion Hunt. Screen draw the pass. They're going to be much more aware of it. Preston Jones needs the 36-yard line.
Washington. Across the 35, and he's loose in the secondary again. Finally stopped at the 47-yard line by Tracy Smith. Pitch to Reggie Cobb. Gets one block, turns it up. He will have the first down all the way out to the 22-yard line. Kelly looking long. Flings it for the 20, and it is intercepted by Ben Smith. Wilson was setting up to make the... Hampton up the middle, first down, and a whole lot more. Still on his feet. He will be stopped across the 30 at the 30. Kelly under pressure, and he is set. Tracy Hayworth and Marion Hobbit. is perfect. Three by four. Well, this is a tandem that's been averaging over 200 yards a game, and this right now, 138 yards between the two. Right up the middle, this is Cobb, breaks it big, he may score, he will. again it is intercepted back to the nine yard line picked off by Ernest Fields over the middle has a man open touchdown Marshall in the pocket, and he will be sacked at the 20-yard line. Jones, good protection out of the backfield. Hampton spun around, and he will be cut from behind by Marion Hobby. Walker was the first man who was the defensive coordinator here, and boy, they get these guys rolling in front of 90,000, and they are tough. down in the backfield. The pass is knocked away. Maxwell, the intended receiver, and it was Preston Warren, number 21. Play action. Hampton back to the open side of the field. Has it complete. Hampton on the reverse, and he can run all day for the first down, and even more. First down volunteers at the 21. That will be the last play of the ball game as again some shoving up front with Johnny Majors now after an 0-6 start in 1988 will have won 10 straight ball games. Truly amazing. The crowd will count it down. The fireworks go off here at Neyland Stadium. Tonight's piece of players of the game are from the University of Georgia, Rodney Hampton, and from the University of Tennessee, Reggie Cobb.